degrees for most of our western suburbs, 40 millimetres of rain drenching the northern beaches. The city had its wettest day since July, around 30 millimetres. The showers and winds are slowly decreasing. However, a weak low is developing off New South Wales. So if it's close to Sydney, we could get some more decent rain tomorrow. But if that low is further away, we won't get as much. Around the nation tomorrow, afternoon storms in Brisbane and Darwin. And it will be a sunny start to the week for our southern capital cities. Sydney, by the time most of you wake up tomorrow, expect more showers depending on that low. Heaviest along the coast, not as bad further west where it will reach around 19 to 20 degrees and gusty southwesterly winds. 19 degrees for the CBD, there could be around 10 to 20 millimetres of rain. Tuesday looks like the sunniest of the week, a top of 23 degrees in the city. Showers Wednesday, Thursday and possibly next weekend. For our western suburbs, a warm and sunny 26 degrees for your Tuesday. Late showers on Wednesday and then some early ones rolling into Thursday. We will see the temperatures dip down to around 21 degrees. Now Saturday, if you hit 30, it will be your second hottest day of the month. Now so far this month, 74 millimetres of rain, needing four more millimetres, Peter, to reach the October. October average. I think we can do it. The weather's all over the place. It is. <laughs> Joni, thank you. Don't forget 60 Minutes tonight at 7.30. Thanks. Tonight, the story of a young woman with all the signs of a perfect life. <laughs> Beauty and brains, a loving relationship and a dream job. Now from the team, good night. So what drove TV star Shemaine Dragoon to end it? It lives with me every day of my life. Plus, Danny Minogue reveals some family secrets. <laughs> My sister's much more trouble than I am. We'll see you soon for 60 Minutes, 7.30. Good on you, Tara. Thank you. That is Nine News for this Sunday. I'm Peter Overton. I hope you have a good evening. From us all, good night. Next news.